will say on behalf of the uh, training staff here and the guys that I would do at Camp David, we appreciate you coming out here. Thank you very much. Well, we're so pleased to come. Let's go to those agents. I'm riding. <laughs> <laughs> I like that, sir. Hello. Nice to see you. It's been nice to see Ralph Fester Alley. We'd like you to uh, take a little turn and see our barn if you'd like. All right. From this way. Uh, unfortunately, you never got a chance to come up here and ride with us. This has been every place on the side of the building. And all of our horses that uh, are donated to us come here and start the training. Uh, most of them are thoroughbreds. Uh, this particular horse here is a, uh, a stallion. He uh, collected the green and uh, he's turning a real good police horse. Uh, some of these horses are kept just for training. As you, I don't know if you heard now, but we're working now this training some of the vice presidents. Uh, Wish you would. Yeah. Uh, they just went through a week of training. But, uh, all your guys came through here for uh, many weeks and for many years. We started eight years ago. But we have uh, we have all kinds of horses as far as the colors. Uh, Take grades, you know, we don't particularly try to keep one kind of horse since they're all donated. This is. Place you couldn't have grades in the cavalry. Yeah, well, I was doing the original, I guess. Yeah. This is Andre Seltzer. Andre takes care of the stalls here, and he's been uh, doing on Gimcrack, the horse that you ride uh, quite a bit. He's familiar with it. And so this is a thing for them, too. I'm not sure what's going on. <laughs> but all the horses are donated. They come in for uh, a trial period, a 30 day donation, and then they become the property of the. Uh, Government, and they always stay that way. Uh, very consistently big ones, too. Well, this one just came in yesterday. He's brand new. He's, uh, he's like 17 hands. Is that the one you got from Warrington, Rob? He came from Middleburg. Middleburg? Middleburg. Uh, Middleburg. This is a you can see these are the old stalls. I don't know if you're familiar with the... Uh, they have the wood block for them, which you don't see much anymore. You probably saw it uh, many years ago. But, they just don't build like that anymore. This was built late in the 50s. The ring was added on. This is the oldest horse we have right here. He's the best one I've ever built. He still works uh, uh, I had a mare once when I went to breeding for racing. I had a mare once who was exceptional. 25, she dropped out the full of milk getting her. We don't have any mares. <laughs> Only because we have the stallion, so it would be a little difficult to keep mares here with us yeah. also. But we do have some stallions. Uh, we'd like to take you up. Hi. 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 <laughs> and if, if you come up, we'd like to show you our lobby and some of the uh, photos we have there. And even though you're leaving the office, Mr. President, you're certainly welcome to still come ride with us. So. <laughs> Thank you. Anytime you get in town. Thank you very much. It might be a little more relaxing now that, uh, that you're gone. I won't be quite as big a group. Exactly. <laughs> Again, this is a lot of training bar. Some of these photos. These are these are basically your agents uh, that went through from uh, PPD when they went through training. So you recognize some of them. Uh, PX, who's a friend of yours, uh, did his ride and training up here, and he still comes up and rides with us. And I know you remember uh, Judge Clark. Oh, yes. yes. He had us down, he had our training class, and some of the guys down in his office uh, when he was an officer. The, uh, of course, I don't know if you remember the photo. You, I'm sure you've had a few in the old walks, but uh, we still honor that one. That, uh, when we went down several oh, years ago and had a photo with us. Jack uh, uh, Do you remember the lipizans that they brought you from Austin? Yes. Well, that's that's uh, Judge Clark when we kept the horse here. Yeah. Well, I. I put him at his ranch, too. Yes. That's right. Yeah, with the hope that maybe he would use him for yeah. breeding. Yeah. Uh, and I think they had him gilded. Uh, we talked to oh, his son. Did. I believe he did, oh. finally. Had him gilded. But uh, if you wouldn't mind, we'd like you to get some photos here with uh, Mr. Stanley. Yeah, there's some of the... Oh, thank you. Yeah. 
not as well indoors. I'm dressed for the outdoors today. Like to take out the president's seat, let you see the guys that you work with and work with you at Camp David, uh, and also you, the horses that are getting back. It's where he stayed, this was his home. I think I saw all of you lined up that way once out there on the mall when I came over, and that was when the horse show. Yeah, exactly. That's when you we were coming you flew back over down in a helicopter, helicopter, and that was, that was the only action I saw. <laughs> that this is, uh, if you remember, Nature's Dancer that uh, oh, yeah. your wife wrote. I mean, he's, of course, he's still here. It's a big treat for him today. <laughs> and this is where Gimcraft would normally be kept, but we have him in the ring now with, uh, with the officers that have been working with the Secret Service and on your detail for the last well, year. Really good. Yeah, you guys introduce yourself. If you remember Willie, our horseshoer, takes care of him, Crack. Hi, sir. Ron Mark. And if uh, Wayne Carroll and Jim Crack. Hi, how are you? Hey, Jim Craig. Hi. And if you could. Hey, Jim Craig. Hi. Jim Craig's used to this. Set up for a group shot here. Uh, the, officers, way, please. the officers on the detail, uh, please, Mr. President, if you stand right here in the center. Get nice and tight. Get, uh, this, is this center? <laughs> back I think so. And uh, Sergeant on the other side here. Okay. 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 Nice and tight. Pull it in tighter. Oh, yeah. Hands at your okay. sides, guys. Thank you. Nice and tight, please. Uh, many things I've served as uh, your chief for 
seven and a half years of your administration, and there's been a lot of impacts that's occurred during that time, starting, I guess, with uh, Air Florida 90, and then, of course, we had uh, the hostage situation at the Washington Monument, and then, I guess, the next uh, major impact was the uh, retirement of uh, Sergeant Major Dennis Ayers. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, seriously, uh, I think General MacArthur once said, uh, as he was leaving, uh, you know, old soldiers never die, they just fade away. Well, I'd like to say in behalf of the Park Police that uh, you certainly have been tops on our list as, as a leader, and uh, you will never fade away because you'll always be in our hearts and our memories. And on behalf of all members of the U.S. Park Police, I'd like to present you with the U.S. Park Police retirement plaque as Ronald Reagan President of the United States of America, in appreciation of your support and assistance on behalf of the United States Park Police and in recognition of your esteemed leadership in the administration of justice as our Commander-in-Chief, Chief Len H. Herring, December 17, 1988. And we certainly wish you the best of health, happiness, and certainly happy trails. <laughs> I'm greatly honored by this and deeply grateful to all of you for all the cooperation when you discovered that you had to make the Secret Service a mounted outfit <laughs> and did so. Mr. President, uh, the Secret Service is going to yell at me for this, but we have a couple agents that uh, have burdened with the program with us and trained with us. Is it possible we could get a couple pictures uh, of, of our friends, the agents? Well, sure. Karen. Uh, yes. We've got to be the uh, agents, close brothers. The agents that uh, have been on the riding program, please uh, step forward, and the rest of us can get out of the way okay. here. Uh, Doug, Doug and Karen. And come on, Doug. Doug? Oh, Frank, come on in here. Frank. Come on, don't be shy. Let's go. Hmm? Nice to in there, please. And the guys will work too. Bob, come in there. Ralph. Who else? We got any other agents? Let's look just the agents. We want to get one just with the agents. Yeah, just, they don't let the car stay. Frank, this is fun. Frank, 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 Frank right here. Oh. PJ's in there too. Yeah, don't be bad. PJ, smile, come on. <laughs> okay, great. And, and the we room. like to get in with park now, police. Now let the park police get in with you. To show that they work together. Believe it or not, they really work together. Come on, Doug, smile. This is embarrassing. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank don't you. let anybody put a label on the picture that we were under arrest. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, sir. Thank you very much. Thank you. Again, Mrs. President, we have to not depart there. Thank you again. Thank you. Well, well, thank you. And thank thank you, you all for your interest. Hopefully, you can come back and ride with us sometime. <laughs> it is a protected <laughs> environment. Here's where we do all of our training <laughs> well, for the horses <laughs> and the men. <laughs> I was in. We got this the under your administration, you know. Yeah. I, was, I was in the vote in the uh, earlier one. I know the old yeah. barn. I know you did. I remember when you came up there. Okay. I've got a horse story that I think I ought to tell. You okay. Fellas. Since we're all in that business, you know, right now out of the ranch, I'm riding a, a gray called El Alamein that was given to me by the previous president of Mexico. Del Madrid. Yes. Not, no, not Del Madrid, before him, uh, Lopez Portillo. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, when we got him, Gray, that horse wouldn't come out of the stall except on his hind legs with you holding him down, <laughs> screaming and pawing yeah. and so forth. And finally, you'd get him groomed and it'd be all right when he, once you had him tied up and then get a good ride on him. Yeah. And one day I was over in Arizona, a group of fellows out of the ranch were talking, and they told me that one of the fellows there, had been a, a wrangler for the president. Mm -hmm. And I looked at him, and he was kind of smiling, and I started telling him about the horse. And I, told, and I saw the smile broaden, and I've always had a suspicion. And I said, tell me, he was trained that way? <laughs> he said, yes. Aww. This was the macho thing. I see. see the horse coming out. This is the horse that the president rode. Yeah, right. And he's, they see him coming out and all of this thing. And they say, he's going to ride that horse. Yeah, right. Oh, I, <laughs> I see. see. Yeah. No problem. People think, oh, right. <laughs> what an equestrian. Yeah, I like that. We broke him of 
he now comes out of the stale <laughs> <laughs> ball on, on fourth. And, yeah. 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 But I That's thought, great. what a thing to do to just for that for that image, yeah. Right? Yeah. <laughs> That's a difference in our societies, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yeah. Well, thank, thank you, you so much present. again, and we wish you and your family a most joyous holiday, sir. And thank you for taking time out. When schedule. you come back for a visit, uh, we'll, man we'll tack them up for you. And anytime you want to come for a ride. Thank you very much. We hope you can, director. Thank you very okay, much. Okay, thank you. I think he knows. That's <laughs> <laughs> uh, very good. Oh, yeah. Thank you all very much. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Have a nice holiday, sir. Yeah, right. Thank you.